In 1967, some brilliant person came up with a terrific idea. The idea was the Canadian Club Hide a Case campaign. The person was Don Draper from Mad Men. No, it wasn't. Of course it wasn't. But that would have been cool, I think. Actually, his name was Temple Hornaday Fielding. If you don't know who that is, go ask your parents or grandparents if they used to read Fielding's Travel Guide to Europe. Chances are, someone in your family has, because he was the king of travel, and his guide, which was revised yearly, was the most influential of his time. I found an article about him and came to two conclusions. One, most travelers of his era were more interested about where to eat and where to stay when traveling abroad than actually visiting the place. He even takes the time to point out the best way of finding acceptable ladies of the night in whatever city you're visiting. I remind you, this was the high-class travel guide of the time. He does, at least, warn about a virulent strain of STDs, so I can't say he was reckless. Second, people in the 60s and 70s like to read. The article stretches over 10 pages. Its only topic is how Mr. Fielding writes his guides and sometimes how he's a jerk, whether or not you were his friend. It's not completely clear if the CC Heidi Case adventure was his idea alone, but he certainly was a big part in designing it. So for that I must say, thank you, Mr. Fielding. It's much appreciated. Also, I won't be needing any lady friends on my trip, but thanks anyway. Most of you will know a little bit about how the Heidi Case adventure is being presented this year. For those that don't, here are the basics. Canadian Club is holding a competition where four Canadians and four Americans will go head-to-head -head on an amazing race type of adventure. The goal being to find one of the hidden cases. This is the first time it is being done as a show since it wasn't until recently that someone at CC said, Hey guys, have you heard about this reality TV? It's exactly like what we're doing with the Heidi case, but with cameras and TVs. I mean, I wasn't there or anything, but I can assume something like that was said. So yeah, where was I? Right. This year, it's a show. From what I can glean from the website, it is going to be a web series, which means any and everyone in the world will be able to watch it, which, by the way, is awesome. So, the guy in Poland can keep cheering me on if I make it to the show. You remember from my last blog entry, or also from the first sentence of this one, that I mentioned this campaign being an old one. It's actually considered the longest ongoing campaign in the history of the world. It started in 1967 and has been going on continuously since then. As the years went on, CC hit more and more cases so that, according to Canadian Club, there have been 25 cases hidden, one of which will be the one that the adventurers will be searching for this year, me hopefully being one of them. The original adventurers, however, did not have the benefit of the interwebs to help CC get the word out. Instead, they advertised in magazines. This meant that anyone who had the will and drive could hunt down any of the cases. Yeah, that's awesome. One of the first ads was for a case hidden at Angel Falls in Venezuela, the highest waterfall in the world. And the story of how it was found will amaze you. I'll tell you about it in the next blog entry. So don't forget to check back next Friday. And if it helps, Drink Canadian Club whenever you drink socially, but never ever drink and drive.